okay hello guys welcome back so in this video session i am going to discuss about the types of the trigger there are many types of the trigger available in the azure devops cicd pipelines we will see one by one the first trigger we call as the manually trigger that we have seen in the manual trigger one person is required the person will trigger the build by clicking on the start button if there is no person then we cannot trigger the build so human intervention is required when we go with the manual trigger second type of trigger is the schedule trigger in the schedule trigger we will schedule the build at a given time or the specified time in the night build or in the morning build whenever so depend on the project requirement and the time and the project team how they are going to schedule the build so based on that the schedule trigger will happen the third type of build is ci trigger commit trigger we call as the generally the commit trigger in that trigger when when this trigger will happen this trigger will happen when anyone changes the code in the source file and he commit the source code to the remote server suppose we have the our code in the github account and in the github account if one person do the changes and he push the code after committing the code this time this trigger will happen automatically and the continuous integration will happen automatically okay the fourth one is called the pull request trigger when somebody committed the code and i want that when somebody create the pull request that time the trigger should happen instead of when somebody commit the code so this is the next level so i commit my code and then i create the pull request for that this is the life cycle or the flow of the git process like how you can commit the code and push the code so if you know the git process how you can commit the source code and push the source code and create the pull request you can understand easily if not then i will explain my videos very clearly you can get the idea so pull request trigger will define when i want to merge my sub branch into the master branch so there is one branch in the code in the git repository and i want to create the pull request so that i can merge the code of my sub branch into the master branch that time the trigger will happen now the final trigger type is a build completion trigger this is like you want to trigger when the build is completed so that you can schedule also when once my build is completed that time the trigger should happen so these are the around five types of the triggers available in the azure devops ci cd pipeline and these types of the triggers applicable for the release pipelines as well as the build pipelines so we have the two pipelines so around 10 types of the triggers will we will understand and these triggers we can run through the classic editor how we can run through the classic editor and how we can set up in the yaml files so around 20 scenario will be understand we will understand in this video series